Hey, so while I was playtesting, I was thinking it would be nice to know what's happening on the whole level, right? Right, I just get like first person view and no idea what's happening. And then I thought, okay, I just need a really simple mini map that's static and just shows the whole map. And I found a pretty cool way to do that. Um, so all you gotta do is create a scene capture 2D camera actor from some modifications. So it points to the map. I'm gonna just move it up top. Gotta make sure that it's centered the map. And next one we need is under it was under textures. Um, you just need a render target. 2D render target. I'm gonna call that mini map render target. There we go. Also, we're gonna have to create a material off of that. Save that. Open that up. And from here, we're gonna make this change, change to user interface, the material domain. Save that and reconnect the RGB node back here. I right, just go back. Um, yeah, the so on the scene capture actor, you're gonna see this texture target um, option. We're just gonna choose that, and there we go. Our texture now displays whatever the camera sees right here. And there's just one little problem, which is that I don't really want to see this, right? I want to see what's underneath. And there's an easy way to do this though. So here there's an array of hidden actors. You just go and click on the plus sign and then take the actor from scene. Boop. And there we go. It should work. It didn't update, but it'll, yeah, there we go. Great. So now we're just going to add that to the HUD, click the user interface, just create any widget. Um, there's a ton of tutorials out there to do on how to do that. All you're going to do is just add an image, um, make that squarey, squarey-ish, what we want to call it. And we just put an anchor, bottom left, I'm just going to put that here, doesn't really matter where you put it. And for the brush, you choose the mini map target material. If you try this, it's not going to show up. So you got to choose the material. Compile and play. And there we go. This way, I always know what's happening on my level. And one reason I want to know that is because I'm going to be working on the um, spawning mechanism for my game and I want to know where the players spawn so I can see okay they spawn at this like place back here another cool thing that you can do like a little gacha um, on the camera actor you can choose to go with other graphic put that on something high maybe something like this that's a bit too high let's go with this Somewhere in between, right? So let's go with 1600. Yeah, let's just try this. Now that's still a bit too small, but you can see it's kind of more like a GTA, old school kind of 2D minimap style. Just gonna play around with that. But yeah, hope this helps. Cheers.